Hey guys, Sebby's Random Tech back with part two of the Lenovo ThinkPad X220 upgrades. So today we're going to be doing a couple things. We are going to be upgrading the RAM to 8GB, we are going to be installing an SSD in this machine, and we are going to be replacing the X230's keyboard and palm rest with those from an X220. And then we will be flashing the BIOS in order to get the all the keys on the X220 keyboard to work properly. So, we have a lot to do today, so let's just jump right in. Okay, so the first thing is pretty simple. We're just going to take off these two screws so that we can remove the bottom cover to get access to the RAM. So, pretty self-explanatory. Just unscrew these two, and then we can open the bottom cover up. Okay, so pleasant surprise here. We actually already have a 4 gigabyte stick installed. I was under the impression that we would have two 2 gigabyte sticks installed, but I was wrong. So this is actually pretty nice because that means that I have an extra 4 gigabyte stick that we can use in another laptop. Okay, so without any trouble really, now we have two 4 gigabyte sticks installed for a total of 8 gigabytes. The reason I'm not upgrading this to 16 gigs of RAM just yet is because A, I honestly think that 16 gigs of RAM is kind of unnecessary, and B, I know that there are some issues with more than 8 gigabytes of RAM and an external GPU on this machine. So I want to see how well this works with 8 gigs of RAM as it is. If I decide to upgrade to 16, we'll see if I have issues with the external GPU or not. But uh, we'll worry about that when that time comes. So we're going to put this cover back on so that we can uh, continue taking the machine apart. Okay, so in order to install the SSD, we're actually going to have to remove basically the entire keyboard and palm rest assembly, which is great since we're going to be replacing it anyways. So, you're going to have to remove this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw, and this screw. So, I'm not even going to document that process, we're just going to do it and call it a day. Okay, so we have the keyboard off. The keyboard's pretty easy, you just slide up and then pull out and it comes right out. The palm rest, once all the screws are out, you're just going to lift up on this little thing right here. There we go and then just pull this little ribbon cable out and then the palm rest should just pop right out. Alright, so the palm rest is out and right down there is where we can install our SSD. Lenovo is also kind enough to include a screw right in here so we won't even need the screws included with this drive. Alrighty, here is the new X220 keyboard. Somebody's texting me. There we go. Brand new, never used. That is just beautiful. So we're gonna pop this in here. We have the SSD installed now. Uh, the palm rest I still have in the box. going to put it in temporary place. Okay. So now we just need to get the palm rest in place and we'll be all set and ready to go. Okay. We now have the X220 palm rest in as well as the keyboard. So the last thing we really need to do is install the uh, modified embedded controller so all the function keys work properly. So we will do that in a little bit. Alright, I'm here in Linux, uh, specifically Kubuntu, and we have to use this to install the embedded controller modifications to a flash drive so that we can install them in this computer. So we have to type in some code in the terminal. It's not too difficult as long as you know what you're doing. Basically, you go to this website called GitHub, and you go to Hamish Coleman's account and go to thinkpad-ec. And you'll download this file, and it'll come with a README that just basically gives you step-by-step -step instructions on what to do. So I just have the terminal on one side, README on the other side. Just follow the directions and build whatever in here. So it only takes a few minutes to type everything in and build the flash drive. And then once it's built, you can restart the computer and 
Uh, hopefully it will recognize the drive, and if it does properly, you will be able to flash the BIOS, and when you restart the next time, it will map the keys properly. And the easy way to know if the keys were mapped properly, um, for the ThinkLight, on the X230 layout, it's function space. So if I hit function space, it turns the ThinkLight on and off. But it should be function page up. So if we do this right, after it's flashed the bio, <coughs> excuse me, after it's flashed the BIOS and restarted, I can do that. Okay, so we have just built our little modified BIOS patch here. Uh, there's a few options for uh, installing this. Uh, you can just do the keyboard modification. You can also do a modification to remove the whitelist on batteries in the T430, X230, etc. And you can also um, just do the battery patch. There's also a function and control key swap. There's some other stuff you can do. Uh, but right now we're going into the boot menu and we're going down to our USB flash drive here. I cannot stress enough that you must make sure you are using the correct BIOS for your computer. If you're modifying an X230, make sure it's an X230 BIOS. If you're modifying an X2 X230 tablet, make sure it is the X230 tablet BIOS. If you do not use the correct BIOS, you will brick the computer. And I actually did this once. Um, I thought I was going to save a few minutes of time by using a T430 BIOS on an X230, and it bricked the computer. So now it's flashing the new embedded controller in. And uh, when it restarts now, we will see if our mod worked. And now I'm hitting function page up, and it does work for the think light. So that's how we know we did it right. Here's the completed product, the ThinkPad X230, with an IPS display and an X220 keyboard and palm rest. So I can definitely say this is a much better computer than when I started. Uh, mainly with the better display and the better keyboard, because in my opinion, the X220 keyboard is just so much better than the X230 keyboard. The X230 keyboard is still usable, but I very much prefer the uh, classic keyboard, both in terms of the layout, the travel, the overall feel of it. It's just so much better. There's our 8 gigs of RAM we have installed. I still have the i5 processor. I was thinking about swapping out the board with an i7 board, but then I felt like that was just too much work for a honestly very modest improvement in speed. So we just have the i5 in there for now, which is still plenty fast. It's the same processor that's in this laptop, the uh, T430. Uh, but you can definitely tell just by looking uh, how much better this display is compared to the TN panel that's in this. Uh, I recently saw on eBay they came up with the motherboard that can put a 1440p display into the T420s and T430s, but they do not have one for the T430 and T420 yet. Um, but I'm really happy with what I did with this project. I think it's definitely a much better laptop than when we started. Um, I, like I said, I am thinking about doing the external GPU mod for this thing. Um, I'm not too much of a gamer, but I do want to be able to play some games. And the Intel HD Graphics 4000 is actually pretty decent for what it is. Like, you can do stuff with it. But any desktop graphics card, even a cheap one, is going to blow this out of the water. So I'm very much considering that upgrade. And uh, if I do decide to do that, I will make a separate video on it. It will be the unofficial part 3 of this video series. Uh, whether or not I do that, again, that's left, that's still to be determined. Um, but, yeah, I'm very happy with this upgrade. I think uh, this is a great laptop. It's really versatile, nice and portable, but I still have a full-size keyboard, a fingerprint reader, the think light. Uh, it's just, it, and it's really, really snappy. It runs really well in Windows 10. Works great on this computer. I haven't had any issues so far. Uh, but that's all for today. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video series, and uh, be sure to stay tuned for more videos on ThinkPads and electronics and all sorts of other random stuff. So thanks for watching. Have a good day.